one of the room and you can see outside intensity light is high here inside is low and also you can see there's that tinted window now this gonna cut down the light okay that is good if the window has a curtain I would suggest and recommend you use the curtain and close it now you'll be able to see that one part of me is light and one part of me is dark it is good when you have a tinted window close the tinted window if the outside here nothing much to see if it is a selling point then it is show so close the window right next come and all this right on the light and you can see the different intensity of the light on the object around can you see the difference so you need to on all the lights in the house if you have different type of lights like a lamp shade, I would suggest recommend that you own all the slides. It's relatively easier to take this kind of houses compared to a house full of other items. Now if it is the house is full of other items, you need to advise the owner to put away things which is sensitive. Example, if you have a family photo, I would suggest to take it down if there's anything to do with sensitive information. Some of the, the part that is overlooked by the client is uh, uh, sensitive information on the refrigerator. You see people that have magnetic things like this. Uh, uh, this is nothing but sometimes people use uh, uh, what you call stick on notes and they write it on the refrigerator. Uh, of course uh, they might, might not be able to see this thing clearly when you take a 360 but uh, it is uh, better to advise the client to take off all this kind of magnetic thing on the refrigerator. The other thing is watch out because 360 degree will be relatively able to capture everything uh, of course out on the nadir uh, and the zenith which is the bottom and the top but things like this the chairs please advise the client uh, to remove this because it's, this is their property and uh, they know the best place to keep all these things now here it's under the kitchen table top, top uh, has a cabinet then it's okay but you can see all these are ugly and people don't want to see all this and they want to chase or rent this place now uh, this house is relatively a budget house it's, it's not expensive i heard they are going less than 1000 ringgit that which is considered a budget house uh, which is located in uh, peripherals of Kuala Lumpur this area is quite narrow uh, and you come to a very narrow toilet or bathroom I would suggest just take a flat photo uh, and uh, of course if you uh, get uh, if you get a professional 360 photographer this is not a problem but by using mobile phone it might have a bit of challenge so I would suggest just take a flat photo from a different angle one angle from this side come and another angle from this side but why you want to do this after you finish everything 360 after you've done your mobile 360 photos everything last then you take these shots you need to have to look in such a way to make the best uh, setup of course presenting the house in the best way is the client's job but sometimes the client might be busy and overlook things so what you need to do first don't go straight and start your shooting but go around and have a look, make an overview whether everything I am talking about.